All right, guys, we're back in the car camper. Today we're making potatoes, steak, and Brussels sprout on the Coma Camp stove, all in one pan. We're at Walmart right now, so let's go run in there, grab all our ingredients, and then let's get cooking up. It's also a rainy day, so I have to go find a park to put, like, get under a gazebo, and that's where I'm gonna be cooking all my food. Without further ado, let's get it going, baby. Here we got some Brussels sprouts, those will do. Okay, I gotta film it for this phone as well. We're gonna have to film everything twice. Yo, where's the cheap potatoes? These are not the cheap ones. These are good potatoes, don't get me wrong. Those are good, but where's the cheap ones? What's the difference between Idaho and, uh, and Russet? You think Idaho's better? We'll get Idaho. Idaho potatoes, get those. You know, I'm just gonna make a bunch of steak, bunch of potatoes. You know, I don't think they sell the dragon fruit, gang. What other fruit should I try? They don't have anything like, they don't have anything cool. There's no exotic fruit, there's a pear. I like pears. Oh, they have dragon fruit. Let's go. Yo, let's go. I love dragon fruit. Okay, the last thing we need is some nice steak. Some cheap steak though. We're not trying to spend too much money. One, two, one, two, three. That's three days worth of steak. We definitely have three days worth of that. All right, we got all of our supplies. Now let's go pay and go find a park to cook it at. Bro, it's $5 for this. Um, What was the total? $29.89. How the f am I supposed to eat this? I just made my own knife. I just cut up this, uh, this, this, this fork. We're gonna cut this bad boy open. Let's get in there. It's like a kiwi. It's like a kiwi that's like, that's like fruit punch flavored. That's how I describe it. It's very moist and like, um, it's got like the liquidy of like a orange. When you bite into an orange, it's got all that juice. It's got a lot of juice to it. So good, chat. All right, we need to start carrying it over there. We need to grab our butter, our spices. Okay, butter. All this, our spices, and the scissors. Grab the knife in case the tries to play with us. Ugh. There we go. All right, let's make it quick, Chad. Gotta take the cheese back. We don't want our cheese getting cold. What else do we need? What else do we need? The Coleman Camp stove, the tripod, a couple other things. A couple of these. Do to do. Coleman Camp stove. Okay, a couple of paper towels wouldn't hurt. Okay, tripod. Lock the car. From my angle, you guys all look soaking wet. You hungry at all? No. You're not hungry? I'm about to cook up. I got steak. First steak right here. Are you sure? To do that, I'm literally just gonna cut them with the scissors. 
Next, we got to chop up these potatoes while we get the Brussels sprouts cooking. And now we're about to throw some oil on here. I just click the link in my bio because I am streaming on I am streaming on Kick right now. Now that we got all the Brussels sprouts oiled up and chopped up, we're gonna season them. Onion powder, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic. Now sit some more olive oil. Some more olive oil. Oh my gosh. Too much, too much, too much. Actually, should I cook it on high? What should I cook it on? Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. We're gonna chop up the steak into three individual pieces. Okay. We're gonna cook this one today. We're gonna cook this bad boy. About to chop these, about to chop these bad boys up. Yep. Now that we got all of our, now that we got everything nice and diced up, we got all of our potatoes diced up. We're gonna oil them up and season them up. We're running out of seasoning though. Bro, to season these bad boys up, we're gonna hit them with everything we got. So, garlic powder, minced onion. Now the potatoes are seasoned very well. These are ready to go in next. All right, and for the steak, we're just gonna season it with Montreal pepper and salt. Okay, now our steak is nice and seasoned. This is some chuck roast too. Not that, not that expensive stuff. We're eating that cheap, that cheap. All right, Brussels sprouts are done. Brussels sprouts are done. Where am I supposed to put them? I don't even know, bro. Yeah. All right. All right. These are done. I'm gonna transfer them in to the or into the Tupperware. Potatoes in. We're throwing the potatoes in now. What the hell? Oh. It's empty. We have to run to the car real quick, alright? I have to leave all this here. Yo, where's my propane? Give me the propane. Thank God. Two bags. One, one, two. Two bags. Bet, bet, okay. We're good. We're back, we're back. Got more butane. Got this. We're gonna bag up our other pieces of steak. Alright, we're going to transfer this into the Brussels sprouts. Okay, now we got some butter. I'm going to put some butter. I love the journey. Thank you so much, Connor. How long you been watching for?
Yes, I use salt, pepper, and um, I forget what it's called, Montreal, and Montreal steak seasoning. And while it cooks, I like to lay some butter on top of it. How you live in your car? Um, I put a bed in there. I, uh, hang on. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Look at that sear. Oh, my God. Basically boiling this thing in butter. Let's cut open the steak and see what rarity it is. Oh my God, it's not done. It's not done, chat. Or is that good? Still kind of cold. Still kind of cold, bro. That's not done. That is rare. That's called a rare steak right there. That's rare. Is it pink? Is it pink, chat? We're gonna do an extra three minutes on each side. At least try the potatoes. He's a man, Connor. I'm not gonna lie, I fucked this steak up, guys. I, I messed up bad. David Goggins is him. Oh God, that, I think I burned it. I think I, I think I burned it. Perfect. Perfect. A little bit overdone, but perfect. It's gonna continue cooking. It's still hot. It's literally gonna continue cooking. I think I'm gonna chop all this up into individual little slices. You got your greens, you got your potatoes, and you got your steak. It's time to clean up. And my boy Khan. Taking all this back to the car. I'm leaving the stream here. It's like two days later, I just got done editing the video. I just wanna shout out the Kick channel. I stream live every single day on Kick, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till like 10, 11, 12 p.m. I've been putting in seven hour streams every day. So if you guys haven't figured out that I'm streaming on Kick every day, go figure it out. Click the link or just go to kick.com slash Michael Hickey. Follow my Kick. I need 1,500 followers for me to start making money on Kick. So help me out, help out a small creator. Let's get it going. Let's get it grinding. I'm trying to get myself a tiny house. I'm not stop. I'm living in the car until I buy the tiny house. You guys have heard of me heard me say it before. I'm gonna say it again. I'm living in the car until I have enough money to buy a tiny house. I'm not stopping the content grind. I'm keeping everything going. God bless you guys for watching. Everybody have a blessed day. Love you guys. Follow my kick. Download the kick app. Look up Michael Hickey or go to kick.com slash Michael Hickey. Follow that thing, bro. Love you guys. Peace out.